day 61. Here we are, the third month of my training. Um, a little bit of a milestone for me. If you haven't seen the What I've Learned in 60 Days video, check that out. I will put a little link below. And it just discusses, I suppose, my progress thus far. And uh, for me, it's been a really fascinating journey and one which I'm really enjoying being on. As you may or may not know, I ran my first 10K the other day. And again, if you've not seen that, I'll put the link below for that video. Which means that yesterday, uh, it had taken its toll on me, obviously. It was new for my body to experience such a, a long run. At what I thought was a quite a good pace, considering. And so I was quite pleased yesterday to have a bit of a rest day. I knew I was filming the What I've Learned in 60 Days video. So I just took it as an opportunity to get out and about and go for a, a general walk. And I didn't time it. I didn't look at the distance. I just wanted to make sure that I was keeping my body moving, but not putting any unnecessary pressure, especially on knees, um, because it's just something that I'm really aware of, that I want to move through this process um, if I can injury free and so I'm just taking it easy I'm feeling um, any sort of movements uh, in my body that don't kind of seem right uh, I'm taking those into account and I'm uh, just yeah slowing things down if I need to and so tonight I'm just going to head out for a, a light three and a half k maybe five k jog uh, it's not going to be about time at all it's just going to be getting out there uh, feeling my body see how it goes and uh, then planning the next stages of moving towards uh, longer runs. But uh, quite a miserable <laughs> looking day, to be honest with you. It's such a nice couple of days. Now it's just gone a bit grey and a bit dull. But nice conditions to get out about nonetheless. So I'm looking forward to it and we'll see how we get on. It's really comfortable. I'm about halfway at the moment. What I'm choosing to do is run three to 400 metres, then sprint for 100, and just keep repeating that. Uh, process and uh, I'm feeling really good about that just trying to build up now those quicker intervals and uh, just see how my body catches with it. That was a really good run. Really um, really beneficial I'm just learning more about myself every time I go out and try new things uh, whilst I'm running so I know that I need to build up my stamina, my endurance um, as well. It's just really I guess improving over time isn't it? I'm still really early days and whilst my you know, brain and head is telling me one thing, my body's obviously responding with another. And so I just have to take it easy and I have to relax into it and uh, realise that, you know, it is something that is going to be ongoing. And I know that having seen results in just the last 60 days alone, I know that in time I'll be in a position where I'm looking back at this video and thinking... I can't really remember a time when I couldn't run an X distance, wherever it is. So, yeah, just enjoyed this evening. Pleased to feel like I've recovered well. And, uh, I mean, it, I'm pretty clear in my thoughts about where I'm at the moment that I'm probably 90% or so recovered from my 10K run. But it's looking forward now and, uh, yeah, just pacing myself into the next run. Looking to try and get some local events in as well. There's a few 5 and 10 Ks around. Um, there's one this weekend which I just think is a bit too much of a push at a 10 K. Especially given that I've got quite a busy week with work. I just want to make sure that I'm not jumping into something that's unnecessary so soon. Whereas there's a 5 K the week after. So I see if there's some places available there and I might jump into that one. We'll just see how we go. You know, Take into account the weather as well because the last thing I want to do on some of these slightly off-road trails is have a slip or a fall at this early stage and then hinder you know the next few weeks of, of training so we'll just see like I said I'm taking it easy I'm not putting any pressure on myself and um, really still enjoying it and now the sun has come out which is totally typical isn't it once I'm home the sun comes out but hey ho beautiful British unpredictable weather